I mean, how's the election campaign going? Jeremy Corbyn has always attracted support from the far left due to the causes he's supported over the years. No to war on Iraq. But can parties to the left of Labour have any impact at a time new alliances are being formed and UKIP and Green votes are being squeezed? The Labour leader has addressed huge crowds in this campaign. Activists like Claire help to turn them out. Although she's a Socialist Party member who has previously stood against Labour. As soon as we heard that there was going to be a Corbyn rally in Leeds, was we put it up on our official Facebook page. And what that then started was a kind of chain reaction where our members would start to post the information on their own Facebook profiles, but also where we would use WhatsApp, um, text trees, that kind of thing, to get the word out. The biggest far-left political party fielded 135 candidates at the last election. This year, they're fielding none, hoping to swing the result in a number of marginal seats. There were nine seats which the Tories won in 2015, which gave them their parliamentary majority, where the total majority across those nine seats was 1,600 votes. One in Derbyshire was only 40 votes. So dozens of votes can make a difference, never mind hundreds or thousands. Here at Labour HQ, of course, they're focused on far bigger margins than that. But these are separate political parties trying to shore up support where they can for Jeremy Corbyn and hoping they'll be granted some say in Labour's future. Vote Labour everywhere. There is support for Jeremy Corbyn even further to the left. The British Communist Party will stand no candidates in this election for the first time since 1920. They're a very small party, but Jeremy Corbyn's election adviser, Andrew Murray, was a member until five months ago. They have high hopes. Our members and our local organisations, and we are organised in, in just about every part of Britain, um, many of them have made approaches to their local uh, Labour Party organisations. Uh, in quite a few cases, those have been welcomed and we've assisted in a practical way. Labour sources say these groups are very marginal and that Jeremy Corbyn has half a million enthusiastic Labour members behind him. They say his cheerleaders from the past won't get their foot in the door. Tamara Cohen, Sky News.